All right, guys, in this one, I want to go over a build that's going to let you get the most out of your Chaos Reach. With Arc 3.0 being out on all classes now, Warlock definitely seems to be the most underwhelming, but that still doesn't mean that it's not good. Chaos Reach is a super that it, on paper, if you compare it to the Hunter and Titan super for Arc 3.0, it definitely does a lot less damage. And the fact that you have to constantly be in the super and you can't shoot, it's not a one and done super, it definitely puts it a little bit behind. But there is a lot of areas in the game where Chaos Reach can be very useful to just get a consistent high burst of damage off and you don't have to risk your life doing it pretty much at any in-game nightfall if there's arc burn on chaos reach is going to be very good for that and even in things like rolk say you're out of ammo you can pop a chaos reach and it's going to be one of the best supers you can use on him because it's just very easy to shoot and he moves around a lot so in this video i want to show you how you can get chaos reach to your max potential so if we just jump right into it the first thing that we need to talk about is our geomax stabilizers this exotic is crucial if you are running chaos reach because this has the exotic perk close enough damage she targets the chaos reach extends its duration so this is going to give you more damage rate chaos reach because obviously you're staying in it a longer time and it's just going to help overall with the entirety of the build it is very good for doing single target damage obviously but it also isn't bad for at clear if you do need to use your super for that because it will last longer and let you kill more enemies so if we take just geomax stabilizers and chaos reach over to cali you can see we do a total of 179,469 damage with the whole super now if we add stuff to the builds say things like a thunders or torp mod so grants bonus arc super damage if cast are critically wounded or while amplify it lasts until the end of super activation this is not going to make your super do 30% more damage. That is going to be really good because now we're going to up that damage number to 227,694. That's obviously a pretty good increase in damage and it's very easy to proc. All you have to do is be amplified, which you can do all the time on the Warlock, especially with this build I'm going to show off. But then it doesn't only end there. If we actually apply Jolt to an enemy, the easiest way to do this is probably going to be Bolt Shot or just throw a grenade. But if you apply Jolt to an enemy, that will also increase the damage as well because it will tick kind of like Anarchy in a way and just add some extra damage. So if we go over to Kali again, you can see that our damage number goes up to 253,656. Obviously, that's not the biggest increase, but it is a little increase and it will obviously net you more damage overall. And it's also super easy to shoot Jolt on an enemy or just throw a grenade. Plus, if you do throw a grenade, that will also add more damage because the nade's being thrown. But then finally, we can add Tractor Cannon to our arsenal, which is going to apply a 30% debuff to an enemy when you shoot them. So if you put everything together, our total damage is going to be 352,610. So that's obviously pretty much doubling your damage for the Chaos Reach. And if you are using Trout Can, you will also give your teammates a debuff as well, which is really, really nice. And they can do more damage to whatever you're shooting at as well. With all of that damage, you can pretty much secure a boss kill just with the Chaos Reach at pretty much anywhere in the game. And like I said, if you run out of ammo in a raid situation, it's going to be very good for doing additional damage just very consistently, even far away. But now since this build is heavily focused focusing on your single target damage with your super that means you're gonna have to have your ad clear come from somewhere else and that is why we're gonna be using the main weapon tarnished metal right here as we already went over this does get volt shot so whenever you get a kill you reload the gun your next shot is gonna basically jolt enemies which is just insanely good for ad clear this is craftable and you can get demo and volt shot on it both enhanced and that is 100% the role you need to go for not only is that gun gonna allow you to just act clear itself but having demolitionist procking off a of volt shot pretty much gives you infinite grenades and we're gonna be playing heavily into grenades of this as well but my aspects are going to be arc soul so my rift charge is faster when i'm nearby allies and i will also be granted an arc soul when i throw my rift down this is very good for doing some extra damage even in game content it just applies pressure to enemies and you can just kind of windle them down without even having to shoot them now electrostatic mod is also going to be very good because when you collect on traces you're going to become amplified which is obviously very good with thunderous retort and whenever you kill a jolted or blind enemy it will spawn an ionic trace this is extremely good pair with this build because this is going to let you get a lot of ability energy back now for grenades i like running storm grenades because it does a lot of damage has the lowest cooldown but i know people like pulse grenades as well you can run that and then for fragments i'm going to run spark of shock so my arc grenades could jolt targets this does give you minus 10 discipline but you're going to get your grenades back fast anyway especially once you get demo on the tarnished metal this is just going to allow your grenades not only to apply a jolt for extra damage for your chaos reach but on top of that it's just very good for ad clear now spark of ions so whenever i defeat a jolted target it, I'm going to create an Onyx Trace. This with Electrostatic Mon is just insane with the Volt Shot weapon because every time you get a Volt Shot kill, you always generate an Onyx Trace, which means you always are getting ability energy back for your grenade. Plus, throwing your grenade, get kills, also generate them, and you just can have infinite grenades. Now, Spark and Magnitude, so my grenades last longer, specifically the Storm Grenade or, like I said, Pulse Grenade is very good for this. It makes Act Clear just some extra damage a little bit better. Then, Spark of Amplitude, so while I'm amplified, I can create an Orb of Power. I'm going to be getting rapid kills like crazy 
crazy with the amount of jolts I have out and I'm always going to be amplified because of things like electrostatic mind. So creating orbs for you and your teammates is going to be very, very nice. It also plays into the support role if you are running tractor cannon, because now you're giving your teammates an extra damage buff and you're also creating orbs for them very easily. I do just have a riptide equipped for my special weapon just with all loading for pull because it's very good for just taking out major targets, but you can pretty much run whatever special weapon you want to. Now I would recommend 100 resilience and 100 discipline with this build, obviously discipline to get your grenade back faster and resilience for that damage reduction. But if we get into our mods, obviously we're going to want our super up a lot. So I'm going to be running double ashes to assets right here. So gain bonus super energy on grenade kills. These do stack and you pretty much just get a huge chunk of super energy whenever you get grenade kills. And obviously we're going to have infinite grenades. So you're going to be getting a lot of super energy back so you can use your Geomat Chaos Reach just at any point in the game to take out tankier targets. Now, we'll also be running the Elemental Ordnance. So whenever I get one of those grenade kills, I will also spawn an Elemental Well, and I'm going to be taking advantage of that with things like Font of Wisdom right here. So whenever I pick an Elemental Well up, it's going to give me increased super energy recharge rate. So this essentially is just giving me 100 intellect whenever I pick a Arc Elemental Well up. So now I have 100 Resilience, 100 Discipline, and 100 intellect with Ashes to Assets, which means you're going to have a ton of Chaos Reaches to send out. I will also be taking advantage of that with Font of Might. So whenever I pick up a Arc elemental well i'll get increased damage from my arc weapons this is just really good for at clearing with the tarnished metal you pick up an arc elemental well this does more damage it's pretty simple and it's very nice now i am also gonna be running seeking wells so those wells i make can track to me which just makes it even easier to proc font of wisdom and font of might you just have infinite supers infinite damage for your actor weapon and your grenades are always generating these because you have infinite grenades as well now what is really cool with this build if you are struggling with champions obviously not only does chaos reach just disintegrate them but you also can take both champion mods so i have anti-barrier scout obviously for tarnished metal and unstoppable shotgun for my tractor cannon unstoppable shotgun pair of tractor cannon is extremely strong because not only do you stun the unstoppable champion but you do apply a 30 percent debuff as well which is just insanely good for supporting your team and even in solo play you can swap to things like your riptide with the vorpal on it or whatever special weapon you're using and just melt them it's very very fun now i'm also going to be running surge detonators so this is going to allow my arcanades to now stun overload champions since you have infinite grenades and you always have ammo for your tarnished metal and tractor cannon you have unstoppable anti-barrier and overload right here so you can do all three champions and you rarely ever have to switch this build out unless there is a match game equipped but even with that you already have arc and void so if you have another teammate running solar you never really even have to swap anything out and then for the final mod i do run an absolution right here since i am going to be generating orbs with my fragment this is just going to give me more ability cooldown for each orb of power i pick up now you can 100 change this to a solar leg piece if you would like to and you can run things like recuperation and innervation right here so you get health and grenade energy when you pick up orbs of power since you're going to be making them with spark of amplitude to. anyway i definitely would recommend doing that and that'll just round out the build even better so that's pretty much going to do it for the build this is obviously a very good support role you're going to be able to take out every single champion you're going to be able to deal with targets you're spawning orbs for your teammates and if any of tank your enemy just comes up you can just disintegrate them chaos reach extremely easy pairing with everything i went over in this video remember to jolt use a tractor cannon have thunders or torque proc and you can just do an insane amount of damage to pretty much anything in the game and if you do come across the balls and you're out of ammo just being able to use chaos reach to get that consistent damage is always going to be very very nice like i said in the beginning though this is definitely not the best compared to something like the titan or hunter hunter is very clearly the best right now at starting your scales and their new super but i wouldn't let that information drag down because you can still get a lot of use out of chaos reach but i still would love to see it get buffed in the future but let me know what you all think about this build in the comments below i will have a dim link to this build in the description if you guys did enjoy you want to see more content just like this consider subscribing drop a like and turn those notifications on also if you like to join me discord or follow me on any of my socials all of that will be linked in the description below but just know watching this video is way more than enough every single bit of support from y'all is truly appreciated but thank you all so much for watching this one and have a great day peace